so I'm not going to do that. But instead, I would like to talk to you, because I've had a few emails in, people saying, could you please show us a dismissal from previous Trinidad Test match when NASA was batting and the ball kept, apparently, a trifle low. Uh, Angus was playing in the same game, said you reacted rather violently afterwards as you went back to the uh, pavilion. Have you got anything to say about that? Well, Charles, we get the same emails here that you get back in England. I haven't seen one yet say, please show that replay. So it's either got to be you or Fraser. My bets are on Fraser, who was having a little bit of a snooze in the dressing room when I was out, when the ball nearly bounced twice and threw my bat across the room and woke Fraser up. It, it was, you know, it must have been a minefield because I think uh, Angus got a few wickets on it. England will be hoping that the same sort of thing happens here. The grubbers start coming on the third and fourth and fifth day. Thank you very much for talking to us this tea time, Nas. Catch up with you later. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. you. Anything you wish to say? They're lovely, my former teammates, aren't they? <laughs> I'll be in such a hurry. It wasn't the bat, it was he punched a hole through the locker, which then, it was one of those wooden slatted lockers, uh, that then sort of like a Venus flytrap sort of gripped around his hand, and he couldn't pull his hand out without ripping all the skin away, and he ended up having to shout for someone to give him some help. I was padding up, and I was in tears of laughter padding up, <laughs> because of not only the fact that he was out, but then his reaction. Okay, shall we go through uh, one or two things from today?